All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back for another budget build video today. Today, we're going to go ahead and actually dive into the engine bay. Today's plan is to have this in paint, color, well, I should say primer, base coat, and clear coat done. So, we actually have to do a little bit of backtracking because obviously you guys would have seen we got our fuse box harness all installed, kind of all in place, ready to go. However, we need to take it all out, take our headlights back out, and we'll go ahead and take our cowl, like the, um, the wiper thingy, the little cover up top of the... And we'll also take out the plaque for the VIN, get behind there, scuff it all down, clean it all up, lay some primer down. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so about an hour later, I've been doing a bunch of kind of working and sanding off camera. Just really kind of minor basic stuff you guys probably don't really want us to see too much of. Uh, there's like a weirdness going on here, so I just put a little bit of filler in there. Um, there's there's some weirdness on the frame rail back there. I Like it's weird, this, this black paint acts as like some latex rubber stuff. It's weird. So if you don't sand it right, or if you sand too far down into it, it like creates this hard edge. And it was real prevalent up here. And still a little bit back here, but I mean, this is not a show car. We're not show car painting this stuff. Like, I could spend so much time in this engine bay right now. Like, literally days just doing body work and making it pristine. Like, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's just one of those things. You kind of have to figure out a balance between time, money, and like how much you really want to put into this and like the final result. Obviously, we want it to look super, super good. A little bit of weirdness going on down here, but it's like barely, barely noticeable. I'm thinking once we get the color and the clear on there, you'll hardly be able to tell. So we got the whole thing scuffed down now, get it clean, and we'll go ahead and toss some primer. Oh, we also got to mask some stuff off, but let's get some primer on this thing. Alright guys, so everything is pretty much prepped and ready to go. Last thing we're going to go ahead and do before primer is hit it with a tack rag, guys. Uh, I scotch brighted the whole thing. We cleaned it, obviously. Uh, everything is pretty much good to go. Masked off what we need to mask off. We'll do a final tack rag and we'll get to priming. So, uh, so far so good, guys. Prime time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we are complete with the primer, guys. Two coats, we went heavy on the areas where we're gonna mainly see as in our wheel wells and the top of our strut towers up there, uh, as long as our radiator support up here. So we're gonna let this dry overnight. We'll be back here in the morrow, in the morrow? Tomorrow, uh, to get the color and the clear coat on here, so. Okay, so I will see you guys then. Okay, we are back and it is the next day. So obviously today is the day to lay some color and some clear coat on this um, It's pretty much good to go. There's I'm, I'm honestly spending way too much time on this I'm like acting as if it's my car. It's just the kind of the way I work. So I need to stop and just lay some color on this and um, 
get her finished. So uh, let's just get to it. It is definitely blue. Holy cow. Now, obviously spray paint job, guys. It's gonna come out. And obviously we didn't, this is not a show car. You know, the amount of time and prep I had just in my engine bay. So here's just a quick, you know what I'm saying? So that's just kind of a, like a general finish idea. Um, definitely orange peely, you know what I mean? Like it's spray paint, it's gonna, it will kind of come out like that, It's it, you know? And obviously the atomization and stuff like that from a spray can is not perfect, but for a drift car, for something that's not, for something that just is gonna be like, it just added like a little bit of pizzazz and cleanliness to the whole bay. Like, like I said, this is not a show car and I could spend hours and days and days just on getting this prepped and like perfect, but I have to stop myself because I will get into a groove and I just will not stop. So <laughs> I need to remember, you know what I mean? This is basic budget, uh, easy, quick. For someone that's just trying to spend 40 bucks on paint, a little bit of elbow grease, um, this is perfectly fine. So we'll let this cure up, let it dry, take off all the masking and um, essentially engine bay is done. Uh, there is a run here and there, I will admit it, my bad. So if we really want, if we really need to, I can always go ahead and sand them down and just polish it out like it's not a too big of a deal. But I just wanted to get it done and um, it's done. So it looks good. It's definitely blue. <laughs> there was a lot of blue. So. so since we're done with that stage of the build, let's move on up to the intake manifold. Man, this thing is a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of explain what I'm going to uh, go ahead and delete, uh, remove, replace, whatever, and clean up in general. So first off, we are going to go ahead and remove all of these vacuum lines. We are going to go ahead and remove our flaps, our butterflies. So we'll go ahead and move all those screws. And then there's a central screw. There's a screw right there that we're gonna go ahead and remove and then that way we'll be able to take out the whole rod itself and the whole butterfly assembly will slide out. To go ahead, once we move this, there'll be obviously a big hole, so we'll put some JB Weld. We obviously will go ahead and clean up everything. We're gonna separate the two actually intake manifolds apart uh, just so we can go ahead and replace the gasket because we have the whole kit. And man, as you guys can see, there's just a lot of grease and just garbage in here. So uh, we might even go ahead and replace the PCV lines depending on how those look. Uh, but uh, let's just get into it. Painted looking, I mean, it just it's it's world's difference. The motor is gonna look super red. Oh, by the way, we got ARP head studs coming for the KA because obviously, if we're doing a head gasket, you do not, and I repeat, you do not 
want to reuse your OEM head studs. They will warp, they change size after they, you know, loosen them. And t so that if you, if you choose on using your OEM head studs again, you're guaranteed to blow another head gasket very, very shortly down the line. So we have ARP head studs coming. I still can't get over this freaking engine bay, dude. Like it's, it, all I can think of is like the blue man group when I see this. I think his plans for the rest of the car, I forgot what exactly he said. I might be completely wrong, but he said like a tan or like a bait, I don't know, like a light, like a, some gray. I could be so wrong, but this is it. Um, we haven't really touched. It is late, guys. I've been here, like, I've just been spending so much time on cleaning these parts, and that's what really takes a lot of the time up, man. Like, it's just degreasing because these things were so gross. And even with the front covers, like, I'm just, I'm just spending time on cleaning it. So, luckily, I mean, yeah, that's all painted up. Now we just have all this garbage that I still need to go ahead and clean up. The throttle body, the fuel rail, um, like, the, the air out of control valve, that whole system, the cold start valve. Um, just so. Oh. And then now with this all painted, now we have to obviously kind of take the, we don't have to, again, but this is just me doing it because I like feel that we need to is just go ahead and clean up all the other components, all the hoses, clamps, you know what I'm saying? So it's now it's just, pray for me guys, pray for me. <laughs> we got this. Um, but no, I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. It's super late. Um, it's uh, ready. I'm ready to get out of here and take a shower. But uh, I'm gonna make some coffee right quick, chill out for a few. Just a quick heads up though, uh, one of the next planned builds to enter this garage in about uh, January-ish time is gonna be so sick. You guys are gonna be so pumped for it. I'm so pumped for it. We have, oh, you just, it's gonna be a little bit of spoiler. It's gonna have an RB. I mean, oh yeah. And it's, uh, you guys, it's a, oh, you know what? I'll, Oh man, well actually I can't I can't ruin the surprise, but trust me guys, this upcoming build that's coming is gonna be so awesome. You get, oh I, I ah it's gonna be so good. Now that that you know that being said, if any of you guys are local or actually scratch set, if you guys even want to make the drive because this next build, the dude's making like a seven to ten hour drive or something like that. So uh, feel free to you know get in touch with me. We can work something out. So yeah, uh, shoot me a DM, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, shoot me an email. Let's talk. If you guys want to see your car here in this spot, shoot me a message. Let's talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night. Subscribe if you guys are new. Follow me on all my social media down below. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. Every social outlet, there is different content. You guys do not want to miss anything that you should not miss. Does that make sense? Follow me, subscribe, like, share, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.